Hi and welcome to the installation guide of 3D Equalizer 4. This video requires release 4 or higher and demonstrates how to download and run 3D4, including how to request and fetch your licenses from 3D's license cloud server. Ok, to start we need the system files. At 3dequalizer.com please log into your account. If you haven't signed up already, please do so. A 3DE ID is required to purchase and download the software, as well as easily managing your licenses and get access to them in 3DE. So well, so far. After logging in, switch to Download. Here we can find all versions of 3D Equalizer 4, as well as tutorial data and tools. To download 3DE, simply select your desired version, then the archive suiting best for your OS. Linux, Windows and OS X are supported. Perfect! The archive was downloaded, so the next step is extracting the files into your preferred folder. Under Mac OS X and Linux, simply double click on the archive to extract its containing folder. Windows unfortunately provides no opportunity to extract this type of archive. We need a third party tool for doing this job. I'd like to recommend 7-Zip, which is open source and can handle pretty much every compressed format known to man. But of course, other tools supporting tar.gz can be used as well. Please also find the link to 7-Zip within the video description. Ok, back to work. Within the extracted folder, select folder bin and finally double click on application 3DE4. Under macOS 10, your favorite tracking software needs an X window app, which isn't included anymore since Mountain Lion version 10.7. So users with a newer OS than 10.6 may get an error message. To fix this, simply install application Xcores, which you can find with the help of this Apple support document. This link can also be found within the video description. Please note that after the installation, a reboot of the machine is required. With Xports default settings, there is an issue if you try to select items within 3D Equalizer 4, since Xports handles all keys differently. So we should change a single option within its preferences. Let's select Application Xports. Next, select Menu Preferences. Within tab Input, we activate checkbox Option keys send Alt L and Alt R. Windows 7 users should note at this point that it is highly recommended not to start 3D4 in Windows 7's classic mode, since this mode may cause graphics problems. Please use the so called Arrow Desktop. Enough with notes and hints. To open 3D Equalizer 4, simply double click on the executable file 3DE4. Since a license cannot be found, quite typical for a first startup, the license manager appears. Here we can easily set up the access to our licenses. Simply log in with your 3D EID and password and after a connection was successfully established, our licenses can be imported by clicking on button Fetch Licenses. But wait, despite the requester's message, we currently don't have any license, so of course nothing appears here. This circumstance can also be checked in our 3DE account in tab Purchases and Licenses. Here we see a detailed list of purchases including all related data, such as order number and payment status, as well as no license so far. Right after purchasing and downloading 3DE4, we need to request a license. This request is an easy two-click job, so let's do this. First, click on Send License Request. A requester appears containing a list of all our purchases. Select the item to which the requested license should refer. There's plenty of room available for comments as well. Finally, let's select Send License Request. Perfect, we've done it. The lovely ladies and gents at Science Divisions are processing your request as soon as they can. So, after a license was created, 
we can check the availability again in our 3DE account. Nothing stands in our way anymore to start 3DE4. Hmm, still no license. Where are they? 3DE's license manager fetches licenses every 24 hours. So if anything changed meanwhile and your license doesn't show up here automatically, please force its download by selecting button Fetch Licenses. Great, there is our precious. Use license and here we go. 3DE is up and running. So, we learned how to download and run 3D Equalizer 4 on all three supported platforms. Finally, we requested and imported a license file to start working with 3D Equalizer 4. Alright, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this guide.